I'm Kay Honeyman, and I'm here to talk to you about The Fire Horse Girl. The Fire Horse Girl is my debut novel. It is set in 1923. The story begins in China and follows Jade Noon on her immigration journey through Angel Island and onto the streets of San Francisco. So time and place is important in this book. Jade Moon was born in the year of the fire horse. If you have ever been to a Chinese restaurant, you may have seen the placemats with the different animal signs. Jade Moon was born in the year of the horse, but each year is paired with an element. The combination of fire and horse only happens every 60 years. That is when Jade Moon was born. Having a boy born in this year is fine. They can even be greatly successful. They can either they can even be successful. But a fire horse girl brings along with her a curse. It's said that she can bring misery, even death, to a family, especially the men. Fire horses fight and kick against boundaries, against limits, sometimes against life. The first part of any horse's life is said to be full of ups and downs, but for a fire horse who's destined for extremes, these are even more dramatic. She will need every bit of that stubbornness and strength to survive Angel Island. Angel Island is another place in the story where time and place become really important because it's the Ellis Island of the West. When most of us think of immigration, we think of images of Ellis Island in the shadow of the Statue of Liberty. Angel Island was a different experience for the immigrants, many of them from China and Japan. Processing on Ellis Island took a couple of hours. People who landed on Angel Island were detained for weeks, months, even years. After trying to escape the social prison she felt trapped in in China, she finds herself in a physical prison on Angel Island. I think we all, one of the things that interested me about telling this story is that we all have a dream or a mythology of American immigration that polishes, that, that polishes the stories. Um, it's these, it's these stories of people coming to America and their hopes and dreams being fulfilled, which in truth takes generations. Um, one thing, what I think is the real value of immigration stories is the struggles that they go through. It is the sacrifices that they make to be here in America and um, to have a new fresh start and to be in a place that will let them be who they are, which is what Jade Moon hopes for. Jade Moon will have to decide what, whether she's going to pull from the best or worst parts of her strength, her stubbornness, her fire horse qualities to survive. This story may be set long ago and far away, but I think there's something familiar in this story too. Jade Moon's not the first person frustrated by the label that people slap on her, the one that only shows a sliver of who she is. And she's not the first person who's tried to escape one box, only to be stuck in another. But like most of us, she finds her way through the traps that people set for us. I hope you enjoy Fire Horse Girl. I hope it inspires you to find a little bit of fire, strength, and maybe even a little stubbornness inside yourself.